Hey guys, so another quick outfit of the day for you. Um, I got a little bit more dressed up for work. I don't know why, I just kind of felt like I was in the mood. So I wanted to share the outfit with you because um, it is a little bit on the dressy side, but I just wanted to show you how to kind of make it more work appropriate. So I'll start with my face makeup. Okay, so makeup, I kept it very, very simple. I um, put down my base, which is Makeup Forever's HD foundation, and I think I got the wrong color. It was 117, but it's a little bit too light for me. Um, so then I ended up taking my NARS Sheer Glow and kind of layering it in Punjab, so it just kind of balanced out the color a little bit better. I did not set it with any powder because I really, really like the finish that it gave. But I did do some contouring with this MAC Bone Beige Emphasize Powder. I just took the bronzer, obviously, and did a little bit of contouring, like down the sides of my nose, temples, um, cheekbones. And then I, um, oh, I did use Bobbi Brown's Cor Corrector in Bisque. Um, I used to be light to medium Bisque, but I find that Bisque is a perfect color match for me. So I first put this down, and then I put the... Um, YSL Radiant Touch Highlighter over top of that and then to set it I have gone back to my Bare Minerals Well Rested which I have been absolutely loving so I dusted that on under my eyes to kind of lock in the concealer and then I also took it underneath my brow bone and down my nose and then over top of that I used the highlighty part from this duo. This duo is long gone. It was part of a collection but um you know, I'm just trying to use up my collection, but you could just basically use any bronzer or highlight. If you like these specific shades, you can get the full pan sizes um, from MAC Pro. So, um, bone beige and then emphasize as your contour. Okay, and then on my cheeks, I just used a little bit of MAC's Dainty Blush, which is a mineralized blush. On my eyes, I first put down Bare Study Paint Pot from MAC. Over top of that, I used Grand Entrance from MAC. And then in the crease, I just used my Tried and True MAC Charcoal Brown um, and blended that together. Also filled in my eyebrows with Charcoal Brown. And then I took a little bit of Paradisco. You can kind of see it peeking out. Um, it's like a really pretty corally shade. I've been kind of liking to do that lately because it kind of lifts my eyes, I feel. Um, for gel liner, I just use the AMC liner from Inglot, which I will say um, I do like it. I don't feel that it is as creamy as Max Black Track Fluid Line. So I'm obviously going to use it up because it's good old gel liner. But um, as of right now, I just feel like with the Black Track, I can work with it. Um, I don't have to rush to work with it. Like the Inglot liner sets itself really quick, like as soon as you put it on your eye. Whereas the black truck, I could kind of go back and forth and work with it a little bit. Um, so that's the only really difference I've seen between the two liners. And then I just used, um, <clears throat> I think this is Tarte's like, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which I do happen to really like. I got this back. <clears throat> Sorry, I got this back around Black Friday in a um, like a $10 set, and I just opened it for the first time. And then I put my Ardell 120 Demi lashes on. Um, set it with the Scandinavia No More Shine, and then the only powder I have applied as a setting powder is the Invisible Set Powder from MAC. And then on my lips is just a nude um, Revlon lip gloss in the color... Pink ice. Okay, for accessories, I kept it very simple and went to Tiffany's. No, I'm just kidding. I I um, have Tiffany my Tiffany balls, the same necklace that came in the set, and the the Tiffany ball bracelet. This evil eye bracelet that I've had forever that I got off of Etsy. I'll put the seller that I bought it from in the description box if anybody's interested. And then um, my belt bangle from Henry Bendel. So um, I I love this the silver bead ball set because I just feel like it's so classy and so work appropriate. And then on my wrist, this is just a Movado watch that I got from the outlet at a really good price. It's the, it's the smallest watch that I own. Um, with this outfit, I feel like it's very feminine and I didn't want like a big masculine looking watch. So this is the dress that I'm choosing to wear today. It's actually from Target and I think I got it last year. Um, I don't know if you can see the bottom, but it kind of has two layers. Um, this is a really nice, like, almost silky feeling material, and then the top is just like a, um, stretchy, very, very comfortable cotton, um, top. 
Now, this is a gorgeous little piece to wear, but the back is majorly open and there's some bra straps showing. So this is not something that I would wear on its own to work because I don't feel like it's very appropriate. So to counteract the um, inappropriateness that it might be for work, I just have a little cardigan. This one's from J. Crew. So I just am pairing this little cardigan. I'm just leaving it open. That way the back is not opened or exposed and it's a little bit dressier as well. So you could button it if you wanted to. I kind of like leaving it open. Um, and then for shoes, these are also a Target Steel by Massimo. And they are in the color taupe. Pretty high heel, but the platform is about an inch. So they're actually extremely comfortable to walk in. Alright, so that's my outfit, and then for my hair, I just curled it out away from my face, like I always, always do. Um, separated it into two layers, curled the bottom first and then the top. And then when I was done, I um, ran some Eden Allure Argan Oil through it, just to keep it shiny. And then I also used some of the Wella Texture Paste that I've talked about in another video, and I just kind of scrunched the ends to kind of give it some texture and prevent the uh, curls from sticking together. So I just kind of did that. And then I did put a little bit of the Frederick Fokai dry shampoo in my hair. Um, not that it was dirty, I just love it for giving me a little bit extra volume. So I just kind of work it into my scalp and it just kind of lifts, lifts the roots for you and pumps up pumps up the hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. Uh, perfume, I'm wearing Viva La Juicy from Juicy Couture and I'm still carrying my good old um, Louis Vuitton Damier, no, Louis Vuitton Azure in the gallery era that I took to New York that I showed in a video. Um, I probably won't be switching that bag for a little while anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye.